It's a small town with a big heart. I hope we can build back even better than what we were. As the storm was forming, we knew it was bad. We at the TV station were talking about, we knew this was gonna cut all the way through the state. I was watching the news and they was telling us, rolling fork, it looked like it's headed to you. I jumped up out of my chair, ran to the bathroom, jumped in the bathtub and rode the storm out. While in the bathtub, I could hear the wind blowing. I could hear the windows breaking. We knew that there were storms going on. We were watching Matt, and my husband just said, maybe we should get the kids and, and go to the shelter. We were there for about 45 minutes before the storm hit. We just kept watching on our phones, just kind of trying to keep track with everything. And then all of a sudden, there it was. You could hear the glass breaking and the trees snapping. And after the storm, I called my son-in-law. I, I was talking to him on the phone, and that was the only way I was able to communicate with anybody. I told him to tell my wife that I was all right and everything. After the tornadoes hit, power usually goes out. Communications become very difficult. It's important to get that communication up as quickly as possible so that people can find out if their friends or family are hurt or safe. The Washington family is near and dear to my heart. I met their daughter in college 27 years ago. They were the first people that I thought about. This is our community. These citizens are not just customers of ours. They're family, they're friends. After the tornado, we received a phone call from Mississippi Emergency Management Agency. We provide wireless access to public officials, particularly law enforcement. Our tower crews are always on standby. We stay prepared so that we don't lose service in the first place. The minute I got to my house, there was someone I know that was helping get my windows boarded up. And it wasn't just my house. It was house after house after house. We had so many people coming into town. People were wanting to pitch in and help their neighbors and help other people. We were able to come down to the pantry and check on it. Thankfully, it was still here, and so we got to work. We started driving neighborhoods, knocking on doors, and any kid that we could find, uh, we handed them a bag. If you're in the midst of this, it's overwhelming, but someone comes alongside you and says, hey, it's gonna be okay, we're gonna get you through this. My artwork, it feels like it's a part of me, you know? One guy told me when I get ready to rebuild my shop, let him know and he was gonna provide me with some wood. I believe if we just work together, we will come out and be better than we were. Every customer is equally important. I know that we're resilient people, and we're gonna see good things come out of this. This brought us all together, you know, for the good.